Anyways, uh, let's proceed. Like, you can click this join TFETP button. You can see the eligibility of uh, if you want to be the foreign English teacher. Ito yung mga kailangan mong i ready na requirements. So, you should have your passport unang una because they will identify. If ready ka nang fum light. Chara. <laughs> okay, these are the list of the nations in English as official or common language. If you click this, you can see a lot. In my case, I live in the Philippines, so letter B. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P. This one, Republic of the Philippines. Ayan. So, number 18 po siya. Lagi niyong tatandaan, number 18 po yung number and area, area niya. Uh, ay, wala nakalagay. Chinese. Ayan. Anyways, let's go back to the Okay, so is you should ha hold a bachelor's degree or above. Ayun. Uh, accredited university or college. Meron din silang lists ng university na dapat is kasama dito yung iyong school or university. Ayan. Okay, so pwede mo siyang hanapin dito. My okay, next is. Hmm. You should ha hold. Uh, teaching license or cert uh, certificate. Yung ano ha, yung certified copy of your license, yung Cinerox, and then may pero masa baba galing sa PRC na merong doc stamp. Ayon. Na dapat yun ay napadaan na din natin. You should already authorize it. Uh, under DFA and TECO. So, dapat itong mga list ng ating requirements ay napadaan natin sa TECO. In Makati. Yun. Okay. You should hold a TESOL. Pero sa TESOL na ito, sinand ko lang yung certificate na galing sa isang uh, page Dito din sa Facebook. I will put here below the page wherein yung legit na TESOL certificate na nakuha ko. And uh, nakuwire ko siya for I think 1,999 yung kanilang uh, price before. Kasama na dun yung mga seminar, yung libreng pa-English exam, ganon. And then they have uh, materials na sasagutan mo for about I think one month. Pero sinagutan ko lang siya I think Days, three days, one week, mm. and then, mm, pwede din naman may certificate ka ng CELTA, pero wala ko nun. Ang certificate ko lang po is TESOL and TEFL, in accredited foreign schools for more than a year. Ah, and the last one is the applicant should provide a nationwide police check or clearance. So, dapat may NBI certificate po tayo after January 1, 2023. Mm. So, magpa police clearance na po kayo. Pa. I mean, may online appointment po ng pagkuha ng NBI. And pag may hit ka po, uh, I think babalik ka within after after one week. So, yun. Pag may kapangalan ka, babalik ka ng one week. Ang saklap naman po. Eh, ito po, foreign English teacher assistant. If you want to be a, an assistant like me, ako po ay nag-apply as a foreign English teacher assistant, you should have, again, passport, hold a bachelor's degree, 
Ang pinasa ko po dito is my bachelor's degree of education majoring in social studies. Certificate po siya na accredited na ng... Uh, ano yun? Inaccredited na siya ng DepEd? Parang may pinadaan pa dun sa aking isa pa. Like sa Lipa, meron doong... Uh, I think... Uh, mer- merong nakalagay sa envelope yung naka-sealed tapos dadalhin sa DFA and then after madala sa DFA sila yung magbubukas and then after noon uh, medyo mahal din ang pagpunta sa DFA sa alabang ako pumunta napakahaba po ng pila sa DFA and it took me about for about 3 hours 4 hours uh, nag-intay kami sa labas ng DFA may pila po siya and meron siyang limit like 100 person lang po or applicants na magpapa uh, accredit ng magpapatatak sa DFA ng kanilang mga documents so ayun uh, 2 am pa lang umalis na kami dito sa Batangas and dumating kami doon mga 3.30 3 to 3.30, ayun. The second time around na magpunta ako doon, uh, nakitulog ako sa Laguna. And then, my brother uh, helped me to get to the Alabang. Alabang town? Town Alabang, ayun. So, kung saan malapit po sa inyo yung DFA, you can go there. Ayun. And, uh, good thing, napaayos ko na po yung aking police clearance or uh, NBI certificate nung nakaraan lang. Like, February or March. Kasi dapat after ng January 1. Yung na-issued sa inyo na uh, NBI clearance. Meron din po sa internet, magagawa po kayo ng uh, uh, inyong account sa uh, NBI. Lagay ko na lang din sa baba yung link Okay, so note, applicants without teaching experience in either Taiwan or other countries are highly advised but not required. Di naman po pala nire-record yung experiences na yun. Ayan. So, pag gusto nyo na po mag-apply at kompleto na po kayo sa lahat ng requirements na padaan nyo na po siya sa DFA, kung saan mang branch nyo gusto, may tatak na po siya, okay na, meron kayong uh, nirelease na siya, napakatagal bago ma-release. Mga 7 days, hindi pa kasama ang Sabado at Linggo. And then, after nyo sa DFA, madala yung inyong a bachelor's degree, NBI certificate, at yung inyong teaching license, yung TESOL, hindi ko na siya pina... Yung TESOL ko po, hindi na po siya pinadaan sa DFA at saka sa... sa TECO. So, yung sa TECO, after mo madala yung sa DFA, yung mga uh, material... Um, the documents mo, so, dadalhin mo sa TECO siya sa Makati... And, uh, doon may pila din. Pero walang limit ng application. So, dapat may dala kang another ID kasi hihingin siya dun sa lobby. Bibigyan ka ng number para nakalagay applicant na meron kang pass, number pass. Tapos, sasakay ka ng elevator na masakit sa tenga. And then, makakarating ka dun sa floor. Mga siguro uh, 87 floor. Hindi ko alam ko anong floor dun sa sa uh, RCBC ano siya, RCBC Tower. Ayun, so pumunta talaga kami doon from Batangas. Nagbiyahe kami ng, um, ng father ko ng madaling araw. So, talagang effort talaga. Effort kung effort sa pag-apply. So, anyways, you should click this application button. And then, these are the, like, the reminders that they want you to know. Wala po tayong application deadline, ruling basis. Kung puno na yung slot, okay, so wala na. Hindi na sila tatanggap. Pero, as of the moment, tumatanggap pa rin sila ng applicant. Rolling basis. So, meron ditong TFETP application process. Una is apply online. Sunod is interview. Third is you will receive the interview result. And fourth is 
the school placement result, signing of contract, apply for work permit, apply for visa, and you can now arrive at Taiwan. And then uh, apply for ARC, attend orientation, and begin the mission to teach. So, may mga steps dito na kailangan talaga nating lahat ito, lahat ito kailangan nating pagdaanan. So, I started with up, uh, online application. I think it was uh, last. This will be the application. And then, uh, mag-e-email sa inyo pabalik kung na-receive nila yung applications nyo. So, April 10 po yun. And then, nag-reply ako, I would like to follow up my application. Thank you. Ganun, ganun. And then, after two months, April, May? Hindi. Hindi. Isang month, one and a half. <laughs> April, May. One, one month? Mm. So, after that, na-invite ako sa interview. May 24. So, no, tw May 24, medyo kabado kasi I don't know what to do. May mga uh, tanong daw doon, blah, blah, blah. And then, after that, May 25, nakatanggap ako ng test call reminder. May 31, sabi nila, kasi pipipiliin ka po doon kung ano yung gusto mong time ng interview, time date ng interview. So, meron lang isang pagpipilihan doon. Kaya, yun na lang din, June 1. Tapos ay 2pm siya. And, take note ha, army time po sila. Kaya, kapag nakakita kayo ng 14, sabi nyo naman, bakit 14? Ay, army time po kasi 24 hours. Hindi lang siya hanggang 12. Diba ang orasan natin hanggang 12? Uh, pero yung sa army time, 24 hours. So, fold 14, asahan nyo, 2 p.m. siya. 2 p.m. ng hapon. Yan. So, uh, dun sa interview reminder, uh, sabi nila, be ready daw. And, ang ginamit po pala namin is Webex. Yung application result, after my re uh, interview noong June 1, nakatanggap ako na application result noong June 5, and I passed. <laughs> I passed it. Yay! I passed it. Okay. After careful consideration, please confirm you're qualified for the teaching assistant position. Ayan. And then, the last one is the handbook. So, they gave me the handbook. And as of the moment, I'm still waiting for my uh, school placement. So, I think uh, after one month, pwede na nilang ipasa ng school sa akin yung school placement. Yung kontrata. Doon nakalagay kung ano magkano talaga yung sahod and kung magkano talaga yung mga gagastusin, ano yung mga accredited na clinic na pwedeng pag, pa medical, ganon. So, that's it for today. Uh, that's it for this video. I hope it helps you a lot in applying for TFATP program. And I hope to see you soon. God bless everyone. Thank you.